Today on Time's Ticking Watchdog, we're going to be talking about what a radio controlled clock is and how it works. You might have the most expensive watch in the world, but if it's set to the wrong time to begin with, it's no use to you at all. Even really good quartz clocks struggle to keep time to better than a second a day. If they wander out by just a couple of seconds in 24 hours and the errors don't cancel out, that could add up to a minute or a month or almost a quarter of an hour a year. That's why most people regularly check their watches against a reliable time signal, like the ones you hear before news broadcasts on radio stations. Now wouldn't it be cool if your watch could listen to those broadcasts and set itself to the right time automatically without you ever needing to worry? That's the basic idea behind radio controlled clocks and watches, which set their time by super accurate atomic clocks. And we'll take a closer look at what these things are and how they work next. An ordinary clock or watch is a time counting device that adds up the number of seconds, minutes, hours, and days that have passed. But it doesn't actually know the time before you tell it. It's not a timekeeping device unless you set it to the right time to start with. A radio controlled clock is different. It's similar to an ordinary electronic clock or watch but it has two extra components, an antenna that picks up radio signals and a circuit that decodes them. The circuit uses the radio signals to figure out the correct time and adjusts the time displayed by the clock or watch accordingly. Unlike an ordinary clock or watch, an RCC always knows what time it is. You never have to tell it. The radio signals come from a unique radio station that doesn't broadcast any words or music. All the station broadcasts is the time, over and over again in the form of a special code that only radio controlled clocks can understand. In the United States, these time signals are broadcast by a station called WWVB, operated by the National Institute of Standards and Technology from a base near Fort Collins, Colorado. The NIST time codes contain the basic time and date, whether it's a leap year, whether it's daylight savings time, and so on, and takes about a minute a day to broadcast its entirety. Most radio controlled clocks synchronize themselves with a time broadcast signal once a day, which is usually at night, although some check themselves every few hours. Generally, that gives them an accuracy of better than plus or minus a half second a day. Another advantage is that they automatically correct themselves for daylight savings time, leap years, months with different numbers of days, and so on. It's pretty obvious that a radio controlled clock is only going to be accurate as the time signals it uses to regulate itself. But how can you be sure those are accurate? The time signals radio stations operated in different countries broadcast UTC, the officially agreed time used worldwide that's informally known as GMT. UTC is maintained by hundreds of atomic clocks, which are the world's most accurate timekeeping devices around the world all of which are synchronized with one another. It's because RCC radio signals are based on time kept by atomic clocks that you'll sometimes see radio controlled clocks manufacturers describing their products as atomic clocks and watches, even though there's really no such thing. Hey, thanks for watching our video today. We hope you enjoyed it and provided some value for you. If you want to get in touch with us, you can connect with us through our Facebook page, which is linked below. Go ahead and check us out there. If you need help with your watch, go to our time sticking website, which is also linked below. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're constantly uploading new videos with fresh and interesting content. See you next time.